Thank you for purchasing the Xterra Ogden trailer. Please take the time to study all printed instructions and warnings supplied with your product to ensure safe and enjoyable recreational use. The following is only intended as a supplement to the printed instructions. To start, remove the components from the carton and lay them on a flat work zone. You should have a total of eight pieces including the main body, fabric cover, two 20 inch wheels, a 12 inch wheel, a front fork, push bar, and safety flag. If for any reason a part is missing, please do not return the product to the store. Our domestic customer service office will ship you replacements promptly. Contact us via the email or telephone number listed in the operator's manual. Lay the main body of the trailer flat on the floor. Pivot both sides to an upright position. Locate the tethered cotter pin and feed it through the corresponding holes to secure the sides. Whenever using cotter pin fasteners, ensure you lock the pin with the spring clip as shown. Feed the four fabric loops in sequence to the crossbar. Pivot the crossbar into the horizontal position. Secure with the tethered cotter pin and lock in place. Unfold the fabric cover and feed it over the metal shafts on the rear of the trailer. Zip the fabric cover onto the trailer body. Working from the back, secure the fabric cover over the trailer. Use the Velcro along the sides and front to ensure it is taut and secure. The front window can be rolled up and secured with the elastic tethers. The main cabin is accessed using the zippers along the front sides of the cover, and the large storage area is accessed in the rear of the trailer. To assist in assembly, or for use as a jogger, you may attach the push bar. Attach it to the shafts in the rear of the trailer pushing downwards while engaging the spring pins. You may need to gently adjust the shafts to fit the push bar. You will hear an audible click when the spring pins lock. To attach the main wheels, gently pivot the trailer onto its side. Insert the wheel axle end first into the trailer body. Tug outwards to ensure the wheel is locked. Repeat by rotating the trailer onto its other side and inserting the other wheel in the same manner. Check the tire pressure as specified in the owner's manual. Stand trailer up and tip it back so it rests on the handlebar. To connect to a bicycle, locate the trailer hitch arm on the underside of the trailer and release the Velcro strap. Rotate the arm 180 degrees and lock in place with the tethered cotter pin. Remove the small metal hitch mount from the arm by releasing the cotter pin. Undo the quick release and attach the mount to the bike by reattaching the quick release tightly. Slide the trailer hitch arm onto the mount and secure with the cotter pin and spring clip. Wrap the safety strap webbing around the chainstay of the bike and lock the hitch arm. Test all connections to make sure they are absolutely secure before loading children or cargo. On an older bike, use tools to release the bolt and attach the trailer mount, then reattach the bolt securely. To release the trailer, simply release the safety strap and the cotter pin leaving the mount on the bike. If you have more than one bike, additional mounts can be purchased by contacting the manufacturer. To use the trailer as a jogger, return the hitch arm to its stowed position and secure using the Velcro under the trailer. Locate the front fork and small wheel. Open the wheel's quick release and place it in the fork. Push so that the axle is fully seated. The fit is intentionally snug and may require light force. Fasten the quick release to lock the wheel onto the fork. Test the fit by tugging at the wheel. To attach the fork, ensure the knob is fully open. Maneuver the fork as far as possible onto the metal anchor and tighten the knob completely. The first few times the fit may feel very snug. As with the side wheels, check the tire pressure. Check the tracking by pushing the empty trailer across a flat, even surface and observing if it veers left or right. To correct the tracking, release the front wheel and pull gently to one side or the other according to the direction it veered and resecure. Note that depending on the weight and position of the riders or cargo, the tracking may need to be adjusted. For future use, leave the wheel attached to the fork and simply remove the fork when converting to use with a bicycle. To be certain you have assembled the trailer correctly, Check all connections again to make sure everything is secure. Before loading, secure the vehicle using the parking straps. Loading of children or cargo should be done on a flat, even surface and be aware of the load limits listed in the manual. For a single occupant, sit the child in the center of the trailer. 
configure the harness around the child, making sure that they are fully secure by five points of restraint. One strap through the crotch, one on each side of the waist, and one over each shoulder attaching to the center anchor. Check that the straps at the top of the shoulder are at the correct height and not too low or high. For two riders, adjust the straps accordingly to make the five-point harness configuration. Again, check for a secure and comfortable fit. Make sure children are wearing well-fitting helmets at all times when inside the trailer. Also, the mesh in the front window should be closed at all times, preventing debris from entering. Children should never be left unattended. When in use as a jogger, the wrist anchor must be worn in the event that the trailer breaks away from you. When stopped, secure the parking brakes first before loading or unloading children or cargo. We hope you enjoy your new purchase. If we can assist you in any way, please don't hesitate to contact us via the email or telephone number listed in your user's manual. Again, thank you and enjoy.